Okay, there we go, good stuff. Keep going, I think I've got um, some smudge on my lens. Oh dear. I don't know where the last 10 minutes went. I suddenly had like zero time. <laughs> so welcome to today's group PT session. So we're gonna work hard. We're gonna do an EMOM over 24 minutes. Okay, and I set a little bit of a range of some of the reps so that you can adjust it according to how you feel today. All right, and then in some shoulder taps. I kind of set funny. I've got very stiff neck and shoulders. I've done something to my shoulders, so um, <laughs> I feel like I really need to massage, some physio, and a bit of self-care. I've obviously done some strange thing in the night, so apologies if I'm not as gun ho as normal. Okay, into our hip circles. All the way round. Change direction. Okay, standing on your right leg, let's do hip openers. One, two, three, four, five, and forward to the same leg. One, two, three, four, five, and the other side. One, two, three, four, five, and forwards. That's it. Try and circulate your face, legs and the joint as much as possible. Three. Four, five, then try and be flat back, soft knee, tap towards the opposite thigh, and gradually work your way down towards your ankles, depending on how flexible your arm feel. Squeeze your bum at the top. Don't forget to stop your watches as well if you like to record. There we go. All right. Knee circles. Go back the other way. And then ankles. That's a whole lot of texture on top now. And then the other side. And then you walk out, so hands down to the floor. Drawing up to the centre. One. Two. Some reason, but hey ho, we'll leave that there. Right, okay, so the exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna go top to bottom, okay. Um, let me just get my timer. Right, okay, so I'll explain the reps. So the aim of this EMOM is to do the reps that are set within the minute, so there's every minute on the minute. And so you get a minute to do the reps, and whatever, when you finish your reps, the remaining time is your recovery, okay? So I think the best way to do today's, all right, is to go through all of the exercises. So rather than doing four rounds of one exercise and then moving on, so that you have variety, which gives you a chance of muscle variations and moving between different exercises. We're going to do top to bottom. There are six exercises, okay? All right, we're going to do four rounds. that will get us to 24 minutes. Okay, so the first exercise we've got a clean and press. Okay, so you, you, um, you want to aim to 10 reps. 
So we're going to do a range of reps. I think we can all do 10, okay? So pick your weights accordingly, all right? And we're going to start with that. So I'm going to go, I'm not pushing it particularly heavy today because it's just weird sleep on the head. <laughs> okay, so clean and press as a reminder. So we're going to set the shoulders, hinge back, rotate, press, okay? Now remember, you don't have to have your arms really wide. You can do a sort of narrow press if that's more comfortable on your shoulders. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 reps, okay? And then the next exercise after that, just so I can tell you, are press-ups, all right? So we're gonna go from uh, clean and press into push-ups, and we're gonna do 12 to 14 push-ups, but you do get your rest in between, that's just a heads up. All right, ready, set, let's go. So, clean and press, one. You can, of course, use your legs a little knee bend if you want, two. Three. So you want to move quite quickly through these. Four, that's it. Five. Six. Depending on how fast you're able to go. Seven, you might want to do eight to ten. We're on 31 seconds now. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, we've got about 19 seconds left. We're going to go into our press-ups and then we're going to come back to thrusters, which is holding the weight of squat thrusters afterwards, just so you put the heads up. Okay, so 12 to 14 press-ups in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. <sighs> you should get plenty of recovery on this. <sighs> well done, we've got still 30 seconds to catch your breath. Okay, I've tried to space these out. So you go all out in your reps and still get some good recovery. Okay, if you want to push yourself more, add on more reps, okay? That's what you want to be doing. So this is as thrusters, okay? So because of this shoulder, I'm gonna go back down to the thighs. So it's a squat and straight, straight up push. And we're gonna go fast, all right? 10 to 12 reps, see how you feel. Squat position, ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good, tummy's on, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well done. So we get a load of time off here. If you want to go heavier, okay? Some of you, I think you definitely could pick up heavy weights for that. Okay, so see how you feel. You might really want to go up to tens if you had it. Okay, so the next exercise. Alternate snatches. So I'm going to grab one single heavy weight. Okay, so I'm going to probably go with seven to eight because I have my eights in hand. Or I might even grab a ten in the next round. We're going to have it here and we're going to throw it up and then change hands. Are we ready? So put it on the floor. Arm at the side. Let's go. One. Two. Good. Tummy. Hinge back. Three. You can bend your knees a bit, but your bum sticks out the back, four, don't round the back, flat back, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, keep going, we can do twelve, eleven, twelve, and rest. Well done. Okay, we have down ups next. So holding a set of weights. Remember we jump. So you place them down and you can either drop your feet between your hands or outside of them. So you're coming out, jumping in, stand. Repeat. I like to jump in between. Let's go. So hands down, jumping out, jumping in, push up standing. One, two, Come 
and lots of We've got plank rows next as the last exercise. So, I'll just pause a minute so I can describe. Okay. Hands on dumbbells. Go to the hardest level. Squeeze your bum. Row one. Row two. If you find that too hard, you can go on your knees. Row. Okay, you just want to hold your core and squeeze your bum. All right, we're going to get going. We're going to do... Between 8 and 12, can I get on? Ready? Let's go. 1, 2, 3, keep your weight over your hands. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, I'm going to go for 14 just because I think I can. 13, 14, and rest. Well done. Okay. So, that's the first one done. We're going back up. So we're doing, we've got clean presses. I'm just going to grab my 10 heel toe snatches because I can definitely go heavier. Right, clean and press. Are we going to pick up? We're going to go in eight seconds. Are we ready? 10 reps of clean and press. Three, two, one. Let's go. So hinge back, flat back, engage your shoulders. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay, go. Eight. Go put your own place. If you haven't got all the reps up, that's fine. Do what you can. Nine. Ten. And rest. Okay, we have press ups next. All right. Okay. So, start with the hardest first. Remember form. You've got 12 to 14. There is plenty of rest, so you can do more if you want to. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and then rest. Well done. Shake this wrist up a little bit. Okay. All these socks weren't really needed, I don't think. Okay, so we've got thrusters next. Okay, so challenge yourself to go heavy if you can. I'm going to go up to sevens on mine. We're picking it up. And we're ready. Five seconds, we do our thrusters. Ready, set, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, between 10, 12, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well done. Walk it out. Really good. Great work, everyone. Looking nice and fit and strong. Okay, so we've got alternate snatches now. Okay, have confidence to get heavy. You're alternating. You can come up onto your toes as you send the weight up as well. So I've just done it with me. So you can come back, flat back, up onto your toes. Okay, if you want to. Right, five seconds, we're going to go. Ready? Let's go. One. Get over for 12. Two. Three. Four. Five. Fold it back down. Six. Seven. Eight. 
eight, nine, next. 10 to 12 of them. I'm going heavier so I might just do 10. See how we go. You choose your number. I'll give an update on seconds for rest. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Push. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, I'm going for 12, 
12. And you've got 38 seconds left. It's quick. Plenty of time to recover. Well done. I'm oh, shaking my legs out. Brilliant effort, everyone. Okay, pick your heavy weight for this alternate. Snatches now, okay? Go heavy. You can all do it. Remember, sort of flat back start. So as you go like that, is to put your bum back. Are we ready? Set. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Eight. Nine. We've got 28 seconds left. 10. I'm going to go for 12. 11. 20 seconds. 12. And rest. We have down ups next. Large well off your effort. Okay. I'm using my sevens. Remember to measure you're using the core to you snap your legs back in. Ready? Let's go. One. Two.
14. And rest. Okay, we've got 25 seconds still to go with our thrusters. Try and go heavier for this round if you can. Harder, the more depth you get in the squat, but it's essentially an upper body pushing the legs. So I I'm not going super slow because my knees at the minute. But we're getting as much drive as we can. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on! Twelve. And rest. You might be doing more. I don't want to stop you if you want to. Well done. Okay. Alternate snatches. Heart is racing. Okay. Got twelve snatches to aim for. Eight seconds we're going to start. Remember, soft knees, hinge back, tummy on, arm to the side, gets hit square. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shoulder. 
and release. Well done, hands will be back. Open up your hips, open up your chest, stretching out. Well done. Extend your arms, chin on your chest, reach up for your back. And release. Standing quad stretch if you're happy doing it. You can always do the kneeling one if you prefer. So soft knee standing, squeeze up to your bum. Oh, I lost my concentration there. And release. Other way. Well done. And feet facing forward. Really get into that lunge. If you've had a bit more knee bend, you can. I'm just testing my a bit, reaching the leg to the side. You can do it down the floor, you can be standing, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to get a bit more knee bend, stretch through my knees. Okay, then into the centre. Full feet on the floor, just walk your hands back a little bit, place your heels, the hands on the floor. If you can get that low, leave your bum in the sky. Okay, bring your weight forward with your heels down, but more weight shifted into your toes. Then I want you to take your hands to the outside of your left ankle. If you're tight and back of your knee, this is really good for that. And then walk your hands around to the outside of your right ankle. Okay, then heel toe in, drawing up. Well done. Okay, and then we're going to put one foot forward, like this, and then push back. So it's bending the left knee, in my case, right legs forward, and then I'm just going to lift up my chest whilst pushing my bottom back. And then come and change the foot down the front, hinge back. Rest on your thigh, not on your knee. And lift up through your chest. And release. And give yourselves a massive round of applause.